last time on Yates American B244. Wow, that's a pretty serious crack. I'm not real sure what to do about that. This is a really important component. I spoke to lots of folks, including two fab shops, about repair options for this cross shaft housing. The main candidates were brazing, nickel welding, and cold repair. One guy said I should just make it new out of a solid block of steel. I didn't want anyone to weld on this because there's no back out plan with welding cast iron. The cold repair option came from a very capable close friend of mine in aerospace and it had very solid rationale. I ended up letting a local fab shop do a brazing repair who claimed they would build up the brazed area to provide lots of reinforcement. Well, they lied. In the end, I added a cold repair on top of the fab shop patch job. After six weeks of sitting on their front desk, the fab shop finally called and said they were finished uh, braze repairing this housing. He did nice work, but that's just not going to be a strong enough repair to prevent future failure like what already happened. So I'm going to do some work of my own. I'm going to remove this, this gusset here and smooth things out. And I'm going to basically put a band around this to hold this in place. And I'll fill the gaps in with uh, some aerospace epoxy. So here's a look at the sleeve. It's roughed out. Um, I'm going to weld this and then adjust the fit a little bit. And then I'll drill holes to accommodate the set screw here and the zerk fitting here. I need to drill clearance holes for the set screw and the zerk fitting. So I've got a set screw in there backwards and then I've got a little drill rod with a point on it. Hopefully that'll be enough to put a mark so we know where to drill. So there's the point from the drill rod and there's the distance to it. There's the center line vertically. Make a little scratch mark here. So that's where we'll drill. The alignment could be better. I'll, I'll file a little bit off of this side here. Well, after a few iterations with a file, I've got these holes, these clearance holes, located correctly. So the next step would be to clean it up and then put in the epoxy. So the sleeve washed down and cleaned up real nicely with uh, muriatic acid. And then I washed it down and the, uh, the housing down with lacquer thinner. But you know what? When I was washing down the housing with lacquer thinner, I discovered there's another crack right there. So I don't know when that occurred. I presume it's always been there and we're just now noticing it. It may have gotten pulled 
loose a little bit more when the brazing was done. But um, anyway, I'm not going to be able to fix that now. I'm going to just put the sleeve on and epoxy it in place. This will be the last time the sleeve gets pressed on. I decided I'm going to preload that band with a couple of wedges. Teflon tape so the epoxy doesn't end up getting these fittings stuck. I thought for sure my wife or daughters had some modeling clay I could use to, as a dam at the bottom of these uh, gaps. But I'm just going to use some electrical tape. This epoxy is Loctite 9359. It's a pretty good adhesive. What I've ended up doing is just kind of squeezing it down in there, trying to force it down into the opening. Okay, I've got work down in there about as best I can. Well, the epoxy's been setting for a couple of hours and it's set up enough that I can remove this tape. I'm happy to see that it made it all the way down to the bottom of this gap. Okay, this is cured up overnight. Looks real good. Looks like the Teflon tape did its job here. Kind of finish off this bottom a little bit with some fresh epoxy. Thanks again for watching the H American B244. More repair work coming along.